We ended up crushing these pills in the back of the table. <laughs> crushing them up. We're playing cards though. We're chopping it up. No one knows what we're doing, man. No one knows what we're doing. And I just... This video is for educational purposes only. I do not encourage or promote anything shown in this video. Please do not try at home. Thanks. What's Gucci gang? What's Gucci squad? It's your boy Young Mike. And that's a pile of poop. Ew. But anyway, uh, I, I took someone's advice and said get out the car and make content. So I'm getting out the car, I'm gonna make content, you know? This is how I used to do it back then if y'all watched my videos before. Used to go to trails and you know, just have a session and then maybe tell a story time. So today, that's what I'm going to do. Straight chilling it. Whoa. Get out of my ear, boy. Beach your bugs. Hey. Watch out. Oh, shit. The bug. All right, y'all. I found a chill spot. I'm just going to... um. Roll the magic stick real quick and we get started on this story, man. Your chances of getting out the first day are slim. It's either it's your first time, your first offense, or it's just a petty charge. You know what I'm saying? So they let you out within the first eight hours or something. Kind of like you're getting bailed out. They let your mom pick you up. But if your mom can't pick you up, you have to go to the back and you have to wait two weeks, boy. See, in juvenile, you don't get the chance or option to bail out what we had to do in juvenile was we had to wait two weeks so like if it was a friday we had to wait till monday to see the judge so we're doing the weekend in that bitch. then once we see the judge that was dead time you know what i'm saying so boom we do that three days and then the judge always tells you we're moving his case boom two weeks detained for two weeks Detained for two weeks. Everybody gets two weeks. If you're lucky, you get 13 days, 10 days, 9 days. It's really just depending on your case. You know what I'm saying? So, one time I got out without going to the back. And that was a good time. My fucking counselor actually came pick me up because my grandma didn't have a car. And, yeah. That was awesome. Never happened again. So it was one of those times where I'm doing two weeks inside juvenile, okay? They only had, they had no privileges before. They started making juvenile more sweet and more sweet. You know what I'm saying? It used to be really grimy, bro. I'm telling y'all. But the food was better. But it was more grimy. Then the food went worse. And then the shit just became like a daycare, right? So I'm in juvenile. I'm chilling. And I'm not getting in trouble. So... If you're not getting in trouble, you, you can make level. So that's what level mod 12 was. It was a level mod. And basically what that does, or what that is, it's a privilege mod. So you get extra phone calls, extra visits. You get to play games and shit. Like they have games and shit. Not like PS3 or anything like that. They had that on, only on Saturdays. Oh. But the difference about what's, what our environment this time is, we're all in a level mod. So everybody I know and knew, in juvenile or in the free we all had to be good inside that level mod or you're gonna get dropped and you're gonna go back to a random fucking mod that no one wants to be in it's fucking bullshit so everybody's trying to be good everybody's just chopping it up but also niggas didn't care about the level people would beat you up right there and not even care and the thing about juvenile the most crazy thing about juvenile was when everybody got in a fight it was always a sneak diss Nobody ever just went like, what's up, what's up? It was always them just sneaking up on them and hitting them, man. And they just getting snuck out of nowhere. That's how the fight started every fucking time. And they had no choice. Like, the the people would hit them, boom, 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 boom. And then the, the mod leader would break it up. They'll break it up, boom. So it was never a fair fight, bro. It was never like anybody fair fighting in that video. I'm about to come home with a bunch of bug bites. But anyway, I I ended up being good in the mod. Everybody was being good. Now, I see my one homie. He comes into the level mod. And no one expected him to be here, bro. He's such a high head. He's actually locked up for murder right now. So, 
I don't want to see nobody in there and I, I it hurts my heart when I see people like that in there, bro, because I see way too much people, way too much of my people for murder or dead or just they don't have their head right. You know what I'm saying? And it's just freaked up. But yeah, so damn. He comes to the level mod, everybody's surprised, and we're like, damn, what's up? Let's just, cut. I'm just gonna say his name was C, you feel me? So it was my homie C. We're chopping it up, and I, I, I quit everybody in there, bro. Like, everybody was good vibes, bro. No cap. It was my homie K, my homie C, a whole, whole bunch of new people I didn't know, but we became like brothers because when you're in those mods together, bro, you become like family. Like, you just get to know each other all day, all, all week, and if you don't like each other, you don't like each other, but if you fuck with each other, man, you create a cool bond with, with the with the people you, you meet. So I'm chilling, I'm chopping it up with everybody. Everybody's good vibes, bro. We ain't have nobody we was beefing with in our mod. So it was really cool because we were all against everybody else. Like our mod was like loyal. Like we were all like chilling. We were all chilling. My boy C, hold on the wind. Look, it blows my ashes for me. So my boy C, he, 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 you know, he's chopping it up with us and he, he's like, bro, I, I'm gonna get this yada yada. He's talking about these pills, man. And he was saying that they were the the X pills, not the ex, ecstasy, but like, you know, I encourage nobody to do this. I don't encourage myself to do this. I don't encourage anybody in their mother to do this, okay? So this is just for education. So I'm just playing. So, he gets, he's talking about how he goes to visitation and his sister gives him to him, right? And I'm like, for real? I'm like, no way. There's no way she could bring that in here. They search you and you get in the door. I've never had a visit. Like, I, every time I got locked up, if I was locked up for seven months, I got one visit. I promise you. And I was truly grateful for that shit. But it hurts you because you hear everybody else getting visits. Hey, you got a visit. Hey, you got a visit. And they're all happy talking about man my mom and i'm here like just all by myself bro in jail so even phone calls man my grandma ain't never answered the phone but long story short hey shut the f all right so he ended up saying his sister could get him yada yada right i didn't believe him for shit. but one day he goes to visitation and he comes back, man. I don't I don't think he got him. Nobody really thought he got anything. But apparently he got some pills. Now he's telling everybody there's Xanax, he got Xanax, he got Xanax. So I'm like, alright, bet. Back then you could trade like four cookies for a pill. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I would do that shit. So I hit him up, I'm like, what's up, fam? And he he just randomly one day, right? Like, he's my nigga, bro, so out of love. Like, I grew up with him, like, basically. Like, we went to the same school and shit. Bro, did this book just travel? Hey, shut the f up! Bug's is trying to, trying to play with me. Anyway, one day, he just comes to my door. And he slides that shit under my door. And it's like in a white thing. And he's like, bro, that's for you. Because, like, back then... You could clean, like if you do, if you're in a mod, if you're in a level mod, they let you clean the, the, the mod, you know? And we're bored as We like to clean, like that was fun, man. We we was bored, we wanted to get out of our rooms, bro. So, homie's cleaning, man, he slides this shit under my door. And I'm like, he's like, that's for you, bro. I'm like, bet. I didn't know what he slid under my door. What? So he slid something under my door. I opened the paper. And I see, man, it's like this yellow pill. I thought it was a Xanax, okay? But it was kind of like a circle Xanax. Come on, not again. Hold on. Shut up, boy. So I opened the, the paper and I see it's this yellow uh, pill. It's like some of it was crushed up and it was another half of it. 
but the other half of it was circles. So I never seen a Xanax look like that. I always seen Xanax, you know, the four row Xanax or the the oval ones are like the footballs, but it was a football, but it was an orange football. I said yellow, it wasn't yellow, it was an orange football. And I was thinking in my head like, what the fuck? And the, the, it, the one half was crushed up and the other half was. Now, I snipped this shit. I'm in my room, nigga. I grabbed the, the same paper, right? I, I tore the paper, I made a little thingy. Man, I felt such like a crackhead, but I didn't give a fuck. I was fucking sober and shit. And I just, Oh, like a freaking crackhead. And I, I sniffed that shit. And I remember it's burning the fuck out of my nostrils, making your eyes water up. And I'm just like, woo! And I, I, man, bro, let me tell you, man, I was, I was on it. I sniffed that whole powdery shit we did. Then, homie still has more, okay? So the, the story's not done, man. It's just got started. We end up going to, to go eat, yada yada. Everybody that I know that has them, they look high as shit, bro. We're just laughing in the line, bro, because we have to walk in the line. You don't know the best feeling about how you're actually high inside a juvenile detention center while no one else is and no one knows you're high. It was basically the best feeling ever, man. Like, we were actually having fun inside a place you're never supposed to have fun at. Like, it was awesome, bro. They have some more. I do all mine, man. I don't. I need to share this one. Homie breaks some more off. He breaks us some more off, and we're at the table. So there's like three tables. There's one in the middle. No, there's two tables. There's one all the way in the back. One all the way in the front. I'm saying the back, like this is the back. If you walk in the mod, the back is towards this way, and the front is right here towards the door. And then in the middle is where they're watching TV and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like we did have TV privileges. It was like one or two hours a day or sometimes if our showers were fast like everybody took showers we could come out before it was shut down which was like really early i forgot what time was shut down like seven eight it was terrible but long story short i ended up being in the back table with my homie c my homie k and another homie random fucking dude that i ended up seeing later on right so i ended up chopping it up with them and he pulls out like four or five of them things. He slides me two. He slides my homie one, and we were crushing up one. And we're doing this, like, the camera is right here. Like, the camera is like, one right here. No way, the camera is this way. The camera is right here in this corner. And we're in the back table, crushing up pills. Hey, shut the fuck up, homie. You're not a part of this story. We ended up crushing these pills in the back of the table. <laughs> Crushing them up. We're playing cards though. We're chopping it up. No one knows what we're doing, man. No one knows what we're doing. You see, we're we're supposed to be getting watched 24-7. We have a card. We roll a card up. I remember, man. We just rolled them. We we're acting like we we're playing cards. Now what we did to sniff them on the table was we put our head down like this. And we we just we, we just went all out, bro. And we just sniffed that whole pill. All of us. All four of us at that table. We just all sniffed it. Right before we ate again. So then it was lunchtime. Boom. Well, this is a different day, of course, but it was lunchtime. Boom. And we left the car like that. We we put a little bit of cards on top of the powder, like on top of the, the crushed pills, bro. We we left it there, bro. Like homie left it like a dumbass. I don't know what he was thinking, bro. Like we didn't have no time, that's why. He didn't have no time to clean it up. We just had to do that because he was looking, the mall leader. So we just left the cards right there. We came back and that nigga sniffed that shit when he came back, bro. He did not waste it. He hit, he, he, ah, it was crazy to explain. But he got that hoe, he sniffed it, and we were just sniffing them and, and just going crazy throughout the week. Came to the point where my homie C ran out. Now, once he ran out, it got boring again in Juvenile, bro. It was boring, man, and I was just like, wanting some more and even though I knew they weren't the real things I don't know what the hell they was but I wanted some more so it didn't end there he ended up saying he's gonna get some more so we're like all right bet I'm waiting you know what I'm saying and he's about to like go ham on these apparently like he said he was gonna get like a lot of them apparently so I guess these one pills man and they're nothing. Oh, they're f***ing 
narcos. He got white narcos in there. Then they started sniffing those like crackheads. Me too, I ain't gonna lie. We was doing the same thing and the same thing. It was rumors going around now. So someone was snitching, man. So like the mod leaders were hearing that he was bringing the pills in. So now everybody's getting searched at the the, the visitation. Like everybody's getting butthole searched. And I'm, I'm like thinking like, damn. And I have some, like everybody has some right now. And, and the rumors are going around. So we're like, we don't know what to do. One day, we hear it, we're at school. Cause they have school in juvenile. And you can't just go to your rooms, nigga. You're in juvenile. You're not at home. The people who had them on us, we already knew what's up. We got rid of them. Whether it was we took them, whether it was we snipped them, whatever, we got rid of them. We had to. And we had to do it right then and there. How we saw is because when you're in the classroom, you could see across from another mod. You could see, like, through the windows. And we seen them flipping the fucking rooms. Sorry. That bitch. She said this shit stings. You heard that bitch? Yeah, I'm about to get out of here because I know that girl's about to snitch. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. That was the time that I got fake pills in jail. Do not try a hoe, man. Remember, this was for educational purposes only. The person who ended up getting them did get caught and he did pay consequences for it. He couldn't get no more visitations from his parents or anybody no more. And that's kind of bad that sucks you know so if y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all drop a thumbs up for more story times it's your boy young mike and i'll be back at it with some more fire videos okay it's all in the mouth like a motherfucking dean do this for my mama i ain't had no pops i was a kid used to ride with a glock sending them shots to the motherfucking ops we ain't talking we don't talk to the cops grew up with roaches and rats in the kitchen fighting with mama she always be bitching fuck all the drama i go get the digits pull out that llama i give them the business